previous streams where we said, you know, let's let's actually make a Harlequin romance out of our WoW adventures. Um, we made always one. Thought that's what I was doing anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. And, and uh, so, that's, that's and, so and so we're gonna do it. Um, and we ha I have three chapters done so far, and Sparkly is gonna read each chapter when I finish. So, but we're gonna start tonight with the introduction. Okay. I don't have a title for this yet, so everyone, I need your help. Inspiring, like just when you hear the first few paragraphs, if you can think of a title, let me know. But Sparkly, yes, can you read the first uh, chapter of our? The introductory chapter of Sanchin and Ku's Harlequin Wow romance, or Harlequin like romance. Cause I don't want to get my ass sued. So, okay, um, here, I'll put it over here. This is your for, this is your romance novel. Romance novel. Okay. Wow, romance novel. Here we go. Now here. In the bustling city of Ironforge, where the clinking of hammers and the hiss of steam engines filled the air, there existed a forbidden spark that defied the norms of Azeroth. Gwendolyn Gearspark, a spirited and curious no Morlock, found herself inexplicably drawn to the en enigmatic presence of Grak Thunderhoof, a towering Torin sh shaman. These are really hard to say. <laughs> the Great Forge roared with the fires of industry, echoing the pulsing, pulsating energy coursing through Gwen's small frame as she studied the ancient tomes of dark magic. She was known for her prowess in prowess in harnessing the chaotic forces, but her heart danced to a rhythm that went beyond the spells she cast. Among the clatter of gears and the hum of machinery, a chance encounter with Grak beneath the city's towering archway sent shivers through her diminutive form. <laughs> As a gnome, Gwen was well aware of the social norms and expectations that govern relationships in Azeroth. The chasm between the diminutive gnomes and the colossal torrent was not merely physical, but extended into the realms of tradition and prejudice. Gwendolyn's fellow gnomes frowned upon the idea of such an, a union, viewing it as not only unconventional, but socially disruptive. Yet, against the backdrop of Iron Forge's intricate machinery and the arcane allure of magic, Gwen couldn't deny the magic magnetic pull that drew her to Grok. His stoic demeanor and connection to the elemental forces of the world fascinated her, and she found herself yearning for more than just the chance encounter in the city's bustling streets. As Gwen delved deeper into the forbidden desires of her heart, she couldn't shake the feeling that this attraction went be beyond mere infatuation. The great anvil, a symbol of craftsmanship and unity in Iron Forge, cast long shadows over their clandestine meetings. Together, Gwendolyn and Grok embarked on a journey that challenged the norms of their respective societies, risking the delicate balance that held Azeroth together. In the heart of this unlikely romance, where the sparks of forbidden love ignited in the shadows of industry and tradition, Gwendolyn Gearspark and Grok Thunderhoof were bound to face trials that tested not only their commitment to each other, but the very fabric of the world they called home. The forbidden flame burned bright, and as their stories intertwined, the duo found themselves caught in a dance, that could either shatter the barriers between their races or leave their love scorched and forever lost in the annals of Azeroth. <laughs> yeah, yay! That was everyone? Yeah? Oh, is it chapter one? No. That's chapter you one. Missed something. You missed something. Well, what did we miss? Anvil stands for all, uh, is also a symbol of penis. <laughs> <laughs> or anal. I just want anal. Is going, is it penis or anal? Oh, oh that's <laughs> Not asshole. Anvil. Anvil. I said anvil. <laughs> yeah, that's... Did I not enunciate that correctly? Oh, you did. We did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You it's, it's Vex, honey. Vex. It's either anals or... It's like penises or nothing with it. With that. With that. There you go. There's the first chapter well, of the story. How's it going to work? Well, that's... Because, you know, know, that's that's not, they next book. That, Sanchin. Chapter two, everyone, is called Gwendol uh, Gwendolyn's Heart, by the way. So we have to wait for Gwendolyn's that. Heart, he's going to stick love it. in and he's going to go right through her heart. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> She's not, no, come on. 
He's hung like a gnome. Is tall. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, as as, as, as Sanj and I were talking before before we sort of got things going tonight, so maybe the the book number two is going to be is going to be Gwendolyn's brother and and uh, Grack's sister. Oh wow! He'll get lost in there. I think. Like he'd go right up there. <laughs> no? Smells like beef. Anyways. Anyways, thank you for reading that, Sparkly. Was that that was pretty? That got pretty steamy there. I felt a little steam coming off the gears. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you brought it to life. It was vibrant. That reading was, was spot on. 